guys, what's up? Um, I haven't done videos in a while because I've been hiding. <laughs> I've been in hideout. out. Um, I just don't want certain people watching me or knowing what I'm doing or being involved in my life in any way whatsoever. So I've just been like on the down low and nobody knows what I'm doing and behind closed doors and whatever. That's how it should be anyways. So what I wanted to talk about is a manipulating tactic all right and this can be with a girl or a guy I'm not biased on oh only guys do it because I'm a girl or either way or another so I want to say if there's somebody that you like or if there's somebody that you were dating or you went on a couple dates with or whatever and then they just like stop talking to you or if it's somebody that, you know, either way, whatsoever, whatever. I guess I wouldn't say like if you're going on a couple dates with because it wouldn't really make sense, but it could at the same time. But what a thing is, it's called fantasizing, okay? So it's like if you don't know enough about a person and there's all that space, you can start making up stories in your head about all these mysterious, motherfucker, about, shoot, I'm trying not to swear. Um, you can make up all these love stories, all these phenomenal, like, Prince Charming and, you know, damsel in distress kind of, like, stories. Nah, 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 nah. Um, and, like, you know, not, because you don't know. So, like, when we don't know, we normally, we make up our own stories. So, like, if there's always, um, something, confusion or whatever, we'll use our past right but sometimes we want people that we like to be different and so we'll make up stories in our head that aren't true about people that are actually really not good for us or really not a good person or you know they're messing with you te ter like purposely to be able to do these manipulating tactics especially if they know especially if they know oh this person doesn't know anything about me and they're gonna want to know so they're gonna bother me more and da, 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 da. so one of the things of tactics that people use is called you know fantasizing and it's when you take a long gap or you just it can also be limerence but I'm not gonna get into that um, limerence can be when you think you're in a relationship and you're not <laughs> so it's pretty much like this person can lead you on to think that you're in a relationship or a commitment or something and then they'll just disappear and they'll go off and do their own thing but next time that they see you or talk to you they'll make it look like you're in a relationship with them. look it up it's a fucked up it's a messed up thing it's um called limerence and it's something that a lot of people actually have a problem with but they don't realize that it's an actual thing um you know I've heard stories I mean I've had my own stories but I've heard stories where like this guy met a girl and you know they were together like every day da, 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 um for like months um and then all of a sudden she was like oh I have to go to I don't even know, like some island or some state or something like that. And she just like never came back, but she would write him letters. And like, he thought that the relationship was continuing because there was no, you know, I need to move on. There was no farewell. There was no, you know what I mean? And that's another tactic that people can use is a limerence, but it can be like a drawn out, farewell like like on your end you're not together right like on your end you're not together but if you never got like closure from them or they never said like they're done like and it's like a mutual thing as a mutual understanding like that can also be a thing where it's like a long farewell so like you it's like okay people can feel guilty and don't um because obviously you're leaving for a reason right but um turn left on you um but the thing is is that 
good people will feel guilty if they move on, they do that, they do this, whatever, and another person has not said, you know, their farewells, or not even a farewell, they just fuck you, like, whatever, you know what I mean? But, like, either way, um, either way, it's like, it's that not saying, making it look like, oh, see, I could have just done what I knew I was doing. Um, it's like, you feel guilty because you don't think the person, and it can be like subconsciously too, you don't even realize that you feel guilty. I've done that. I've been like, like a guy that I used to talk to, I'd message him, I'd have, excuse me, I'd have to message him and be like, um, hold on. I'd message him and I'd be like, or call him and leave him a voicemail and be like, I'm just letting you know that I'm moving on. And I really was intending to, but then something would happen. But I'd be like, I'm just letting you know I'm moving on because I don't want you to be hurt if you see me with somebody else. And I don't want you to be upset or say, oh, you're cheating on me if you see me with somebody else. Like, it was a guilt thing. Like, I felt bad just being like, okay, peace out, bean sprout. Like, we don't talk anymore. Like, but I feel bad that you're not like literally getting it or you're literally pretending that you don't get it or you're literally just not saying anything for these reasons, okay? And I actually didn't even get this from like wanting to do this video from that person because I just don't care anymore. Like I just, <laughs> you couldn't get me to care if you gave me a bazillion dollars Mm -mm. But anyways, no, um, no, but it's like, those are like tactics that people use. Cause if you don't know something about a person, you're going to want more, you're going to want more. It's going to be like an adrenaline rush. It's going to be like, you know what I mean? And then like, Oh, they called me. Oh, bleh. are you fucking kidding me right now? Wow. You should see what this license plate says right now. Motherfucker. Mm. Mm. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, so it's just like, <laughs> it's just like, I'm done with this video. <laughs> Fuck this shit. <laughs> um, um, I just got so distracted because I got so mad. Well, I didn't get mad. I was just thrown off. But because this pops out of nowhere, like normally. Um, so anyways. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you. My number, um that used to remind me of this person that I was just talking about. I like literally just said like I could not care less. I looked in front of me and the license plate says 3F642 and my number for him is 642. <laughs> so fucking ridiculous. <laughs> oh, my life though, it's so amazing. I love this shit. <laughs> no. Oh, God's funny. But no, I'm not listening to him or anybody else. Um, it wouldn't make sense to. So, I am going to talk to you guys later. I love you. <laughs> Bye.